Thursday because we thought it would be trick-or-treat. It is not. So, yes, yeah, trick-or-treat is on Saturday from 6 to 8 on the 31st. So, um, but this is going to work out fine. Um, our next meeting is November 19th, which is a week earlier because of Thanksgiving. So, I'll send you a reminder in the mail. The one thing I want you to keep in mind is it is our month to donate um, canned goods for the St. Anthony's Food Pantry. So just keep that in mind, but I'll send you a note um, beforehand so we can get something nice together for them. The other thing is, is I would like to thank everybody who brought things for our donation table. Um, Linden Heights does one fundraiser a year, and this is the time we do it. Um, they make crafts. We have some crafty people in Linden Heights, and we have a little raffle, and that's how we make our funds for the year to be able to uh, do things in the community. So remember to buy a ticket or two to help support Linden Heights, and we thank you for that. A special thank you to my mom, who is in the red, and I, my dad was the man who signed you in. Um, they made the cookies and the bread. project that we've done. We have some new main streets and we've been doing other infrastructure projects in the city, laying the groundwork for the future. We've been doing nine bridges in seven years, laying the groundwork for the future. And also one of the things that's very important is that we're taking the housing. We were able to get federal money and some of you have neighborhoods where you had some blighted housing that you would say, boy, I just wish the city would do something about this. I've been we have more housing than we have people. So what we're doing now is right-sizing our housing. And so with some NSP money, the, the federal money that we're getting, we're going to do demolishing houses, rehabbing houses, and building new houses. And one of the programs that we're really proud of is that we're working in partnership with the East End community is deconstruction. And deconstruction means they're taking these houses, it's going to be a slower process for them to come down, but they're taking and saving the little parts out of the house, and they're going to be able to sell that later. And in the process of doing that, we're going to be putting people to work and training them in that area. So I'm really proud of that. Well, I'm also very proud of us having our vacant to vibrancy conversation. And on the vacant to vibrancy conversation, we're able to take these lots, and we have one that's over there on, Edwin C. Moses 